Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 62 of my journey through Solo Southbound Trial of the Ancestors League. Today, the goal is to finish out the level 100 grind on my Caustic Arrow Raider, and I want to double corrupt a few gems to see if I can get a level 21 Vol Caustic Arrow. So that's what I'm going to start doing, and then it'll be back on the 100 grind. So let's get one of these qualityed up, and let's go try. This one looks simple enough. Nothing crazy. We'll start with that one. All right, lapidary lens number one corrupts a skill or support gem, modifying it unpredictably twice. 2020 caustic arrow into 2123 caustic arrow. So that's not a 21 vol caustic arrow. So need to try again but i also need to go hit this boss at least i don't have a tempest in this map so i can't get the challenge for this so at least i can just kill this thing got it uh will of chaos i've never gotten one of these ultimatum aspect string of servitude with 75 rarity I'll check the toxic grove chest another apex so i have three pieces of this now i don't know what the other one i need is i haven't done this ultimatum thing since it was added back in that game next one no minus to resistances no tempest no lightning another easy one all right lapidary lids number two caustic arrow 21 vol caustic arrow let's go put it in so let's see the tooltip dot is 195 475.7 and that is up to 225 48 so it went up 25k so over 10 percent for sure more damage that is huge all right cool i don't need to do any more of these right now t3 currency forgotten items unmaking seven vol orbs four chaos five awakened sextants in this room that is one of those things i'm glad i did that <laughs> this boss is really tanky compared to all the others so far ow it's a little risky with my level 99 character but so far so good i forget i can use my vol cost to carry twice in the first phase because i get all these ads to replenish it oh another fire those ignites hurt almost there come on there we go string a servitude crit chance during flask effect movement speed movement speed if you haven't been hit recently and i'm not done leveling gyms because i'm trying to make a divine ire character with the mage blood so i'm going to level divine ires and these should be pretty easy to level up as i continue on the hundred grind gilded abyss scarabs run eater of worlds immortal syndicate maps are all set up and ready to go got sextants on for additional two abysses and the hope here is that um everything stays calm everything stays cool nothing goes unexpected just nice easy uneventful grind that is the ideal push to 100 we'll see if that happens let's hope so and i will do masterminds along the way continuing to hunt for flask enchants crafts these abysses are crazy they're going to be spewing so many enemies out especially with the gilded sextant um here get you where'd the abyss go there it is Oh, almost lost it. But I'm getting extra XP against all of these enemies out of the abyss. And I have like the whole trail at the top of the Atlas Passive Tree. The Gilded Scarabs guarantee a Stygian Spire at the end of it. And I think I'm guaranteed three or four per map. So I'm going to get a lot of them. The only downside to this is I won't be putting in a lot of maps. I'll be getting like one to two percent of my level per map they're just gonna take a little bit but that means i'm not getting a lot of looks for smugglers caches which is something that i do really want because i need more of the twins maybe that's something i can focus down harder at the end but then the stygian spire i slowly kill it so it spawns the three different abyss pods all of them will have another rare enemy Rare enemies have lots of XP, so that's where the bulk of it is coming from. And then there's one abyss down, and then open up the next one. And so many monsters popping out of each little pit of this. So fantastic. And sometimes we get five additional rare enemies crawl out of it. That's also pretty wild, but oh, the damage increase that I got. I already feel it. A lot of extra damage. I'm also doing really big and open maps, so I have a lot of room to maneuver around them but also the abyss has room to spit out its monsters if an abyss gets too cramped it will like trickle its monsters out a little slower which you don't really want 
because you might like wind up running the abyss out before it can progress all the way to its fourth node. I love having so much speed to run through these research missions. So good. And the Vault Caustic Arrow will just obliterate these guys. They don't stand a chance. Level gems before killing the next member here. Abyss number three. I see Abyss number four. Last one. Another Stygian Spire. I use the Vault Caustic Arrow on the Stygian Spire. It'll, it'll die before it can put out the additional pits. Because I don't want... There we go. Map done. Oh, there's going to be just maybe a couple of more tanky enemies still floating around, but on to the next one. And I got a safe house. And this means after the next map, I'll have another mastermind and just like keep repeating that process over and over and over until level 100. Right, I'm not really worried about these guys at all because Volcaustic Arrow is really good and I have good Chaos Res, so... Yeah, done. Uh, trap stash. Take the Lahoop. Above average there. Pretty solid. 30 to all res. Good all attributes. That was a good pull. Go next. And there's the mastermind. And just like yesterday, I will swap characters to my poison seismic trap build to fight mastermind. Don't want to risk anything going wrong on the 100 push. Final round. Oh, she moved. She's already got a lot of poisons on her though. And that should be it. And dodge the slam. Oh, it didn't even go off. Done. Give me another flask. And that's a flask. Another energy shield. All right, what do we got? Chance to avoid being stunned. Okay. I'll unlock the craft. Still don't have the life regen one. That's what I'm looking for. And then I loot it with the raider because of the speed. Trapped stash. Uh, soul mantle. Immortal ignorance. Nice. 12 divine. What? Yo! That's crazy! Seven divine orbs. Thank you, Gravisius. Wow. Flask to 28%. These the quality on these is all duration. So my life flask then. And go next. Oh, and um just seven divines, no big deal. Abyssal depths. I don't think I need that. I'm not gonna worry about it. If it were earlier in the league, I'd absolutely go down there. I gotta stay on task though. Can't get destroyed. Like, I can't lose my focus, right? Going down the Abyssal Depths could, like, spawn some other train of thought from something. I don't want that. Stick to the plan. Clear the Abysses. Get that XP. And getting all the extra rare monsters out of these. It's so nuts. But the build can do it. And Soul Eaters really show very well just, like, how many monsters are coming out of these. that are just getting obliterated. It's not a small number. I'm gonna hit a reset on my XP slash reset underscore XP. We'll refresh the measurement at the bottom. It is low at the moment because I was running those temples. I mean, 26 million an hour is really good, but I'm looking for even better than that. Forbidden Tome, involves side area. Another one of these knocked off the list. After one map, it's got me at 32.3. It's not bad. Divine Iris already up to 19. 34.5 after map number two. Now, this XP calculator does not count when I'm standing here in my hideout. So any of this time that I'm sitting here, it's not going to factor into this XP calculation. So it's not 100% accurate, but it also means like if you want it to be accurate, spend as little time in the hideout as possible. So just go right into next safe house. Safe house got me to 36.2 back into the next map. Six uses on the sextants left and I need more scarabs. Go ahead and chuck these in there. And I like to try if possible to like run an abyss as I'm clearing the map. So I'm not having to like double over areas essentially it is a little bit risky because i'm going to get intervention show up at some point and there's shrines all over the place so it's a little sketch at first but you can handle it you can handle it yep there's my intervention oh there's an invulnerable aura enemy somewhere um hey okay. Took out those guys. There's still enemies pouring out of this abyss. All right, there's my spire. Getting a smuggler's cash to get Hawk to join me also helps. Gives me extra damage and extra speed, as if I needed it. But yeah, you don't want to see a transportation mission while you're running an abyss. That'll cause issues, because they won't follow you like the intervention ones do. Ooh, extra life, soul eater. Chaos and wither resistant. Uh-oh, I think he died. Okay. Oh, what else? <laughs>
Oh, so many fractured items. Ooh, I'm up to 38, 562. That's huge. For another map, 37.9. Another safe house, day 38.3. So the safe houses are like kind of equal to what I'm getting out of these abysses. Another one down, 38.7 into a research safe house. Surprise the number keeps going up. Maybe I'm just in the zone and getting it. A speed plus a divine shrine. Huh. Speed shrine really doesn't help my cost go at all, but it helps the toxic rain totems. Actually, I think it does give like 100% increased projectile damage. No, just projectile speed. Brutal Shrine though gives increased damage. Like a generic Dreaming Invitation. Another Mastermind. And do I get a flask this time? Nope, I got a shield. Winged Bestiary Scarab. Winged Legion Scarab. Winged Breach Scarab. Armor Piece 26 quality. I'll use that here. Oh wow! I've been doing this fight in a five blink. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. The Awakened Void Manipulation I gave to the other character. Ooh, Hail Heart. Interesting div card. Two Mortal Grief. And go next. Divine Eyes just hit level 20. I think I'll just go ahead and flip all these. I have enough GCPs to just quality them up, but I'm definitely going to get the XP, so why not? Time for new sextants. I have another 16 uses of the chaos damage, so that one goes on. Put an abyss one on. I have a cold and a lightning. I could just go ahead and throw those on, so I only have to replace the abyss one every four. Why not? And I'm going to have to craft new maps after this one. This is already going to stop being as efficient, so the XP per hour is going to drop because there's only going to be three abyss per map. That is okay though. I definitely made the most use out of it as I possibly could. Another Abyssal Depths. That means I missed out on a Stygian Spire. I only had two Abyss in this map. Right, maps. I do not think Cemetery has quite been the best map possible. There's lots of little things in the map that can hinder your movement and stuff. All right, get some dunes in here. Dunes, there's not going to be any stuff like prohibiting movement, or at least not near as much. There's some rocks. Two Imperial Legacies. Nice. And another Abyssal Depths. But another safe house. Hello, maps. Ah, wow. Another one. Okay. Well, that perfectly filled my inventory. Two more safe houses. I'm down to 37 million losing that sextant hurt future cloister fortunate and another mastermind add in the next sextant right i need to find void manipulation i think yeah 1920 all right the damage was good before but how about now what we got katarina i think that's it yeah yeah toast Another shield. Eight of the Cacophony. Three Deafening Essence. 28 quality flask. Uh, gym XP. Here, level this. There we go. Now it's a 2020 Void Manipulation. Another Diviner Strong Box. 10 Div Cards. Full stack of 13. I can't even off the top of my head think of what has a full stack of 13. Four of the Cursed Words. Six of the Cataclysm. Cool. An Exalted Orb. Another of the Fortunate. Here we go. Speed Shrine plus Huck. I am a super fast. Hold iron point. Next sextant. I forgot to click the betrayal button. I think it's actually better for my overall XP per hour. Because then I'm just focused more on Abyss. Into the final 50 million XP. I'm getting there. All side area. No! 60% more monster damage. Well, damn. Don't let her kill you again. Is she dead? Oh my goodness. Mortal rage and grief. All that means is there's less time to play around after I hit the 100 today. My XP per hour has is no longer showing up because that means it would be below zero. Tora, it that fled. Hillock and Camaria. That's quite the um, safe house. Got him though. Another Gilded Abyss Scarab though. Another Vol side area. This one without the 60% damage mod. Giving invitation. Transportation safe house. Next sextant. This will be the last of my big ones. Need new maps. Probably ley line. I can just roll a bunch of these in here. Let's make a regex for that. Um, reset this. No region. Minus max. Less recovery rate. Hexproof, crit chance, shocked ground, multi proj, burning ground. Hey, okay, copy. All right, keep scouring all the ones that are not highlighted and then reallocating them. I'm down to four. 
That's good enough. Now I gotta pick safe ones. I don't want like double physics extra or crazy tank mods with physics extra. No thanks. I want maps that I'm not gonna have to think about. I got 21 very free maps. Divine Orb. Ooh, scarabs. My abyss died there. It just wasn't spitting out the enemies fast enough. I guess I, I was killing them all. I think that's the second time I've seen that happen. I wonder if it maybe wandered off and I didn't see it. The fortunate. Divine Iris. Leveled back up. The fortunate. Need more sextants. Grab another chaos one. This. I guess it's going back to packs of additional monsters and i need to corrupt these divide iris to see if i need to level more of them oh we got 2020 2020 1920 2020 2020 and 2023 okay try again next mastermind all right another one down what do we got a staff okay plus two level of socketed support gems Quality of support gems. Sure. Could make it a trigger as well. It's probably going to increase the cost of it. Let's go Fizz multi and chance to deal double damage. Okay. Interesting. So it's like a plus three reap weapon as long as you have an empower. Winged Sulfite Scarab. Winged Harbinger Scarab. Winged Breach Scarab. Should flask that is an enduring eternal mana flask. Two more safe houses. Ooh. Out of sextants. Last abyss one. Six link widow silk rope. Ballside area. How many more of these do I need? Still 17 of them. I could be doing lab trials too, but nope. 5% to go. Almost there. That one should get me another mastermind too. Ooh. Whoa, this is a Chaos Warband item. Broken Faith. You have unholy might while you have no energy shield. Hmm. Einhar's Memory of the Sacred Grove. Let's go. Dreaming Invitation. All right, no more sextants for Abyss. Only 10 million away. Another Mastermind and then a Research Safe House. I probably should have just done the Research Safe House. Because it had five people in it. It's going to lose a bunch of those after this Mastermind. Take down Katarina real quick. One last time. Oh, she moved in the direction of the totem thing. There she goes. Please get flask. Another staff. This one will get also... Mm, spell damage? or the, uh, Let's go to plus two. It's really hard to get. And then... Uh, we'll go trigger. Okay, the 150 cost is locked in. And then fire dot multi. Hmm, okay. Another staff that could do something with winged torment scarab yeah it's only three people now this could be the last one i hope probably has to spawn two abysses if i'm gonna get the level here there are two abysses oh and i have a immortal shrine right now oh it's only five more seconds these crazy abyss nodes have not managed to kill me yet so pretty comfortable with it and i've seen some pretty crazy things come out of these holes in the ground oh yeah i'll get it it's coming there it is, level 100. Oh, what a grind. I only had to do half of it today, but I've been getting after these abysses, and they, every single one has been like this. Just constant spewing of non-stop enemies. And this one, like, gave me a bunch of magic enemies, and so good. Like, the XP from that abyss trail up at the top of the Atlas Passive Tree is very good. It is very strong. Now, I also never ran out of Gilded Abyss Scarabs. So, I'm definitely getting more monsters out of this than you would be with other Abyss Scarabs. And I get the Stygian Spires, like, in every single one. So, like, at the end of my fourth node, I'm getting another two to four rare enemies pop out of here. It's three so far. Four. That's usually... It usually only makes three pits whatever comes out of it and then i kill it gg all right and here's my dump tab with all the stygian visors in it or some kind of visual representation of how many abyss nodes i've done and i mean i didn't start picking them up all the time at first until i started realizing like oh this is gonna pile up and look kind of cool that's a lot of stygian visors though every single one of them item level 85 but there was two of them that died on me and then a couple Abyssal Depths that I didn't go down into. Everything else in here is six-linked. I got three six-links. 
and a bunch of fractured items that I haven't identified yet. You go through here and see. No. T1 suffix rarity on a lion pelt. Suffix fire damage. Nope. 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 No. 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 About how it goes with these. T5 flat cold. 99 life on a harmonic spirit shield. 43 cold res on a titanium spirit shield. It's it's all bad. As is to be expected. Well, I mean, there's a T1 fractured lightning on a heavy belt. So what to do with the passive point? I could spec out of all my life now in this build if I wanted to. Recover 1% of life or withered debuff on each enemy you kill. That seems insane. I don't know that I ever read that before. That's nuts. You know what? Put it in more life. Why not? I don't know what else to do with it right now. I'd have to rework things, upgrade this build more, but I accomplished the goal, completed the challenge. There's really not enough time to really get into too much else today. I need to spec for essences. I don't know. This seems like a crazy grind. Getting 65 deafening essences. And then flawless breach stone. I just have to get that to drop somehow. And then there's the sanctum thing that I, I, I really don't want to do sanctum. Cross contamination stuff. Simple. And there's this. I don't have enough delirium orbs to run this currently like that's ridiculous the end game grinds I, I, I just need those to show up essence monster while affected by a tempest is not hard all i have to do is guarantee essences and then put a corrupting tempest on the map i've got eight more sanctums i could add to this here let me just pull these out there's nine of blood filled vessels probably next time i'll hit these i'll probably run a bunch of these memories to get that challenge knocked out i need to smash maps for heist but i'm definitely done with abyss i can remove abyss and that's gonna give me a lot of points back because this whole windy bit is crazy i feel like guaranteed i need these block abyss unblock ritual i guess yeah i think i go for the essences i feel like if there's two that i'm not gonna be able to do it's the flawless breach stone and the delirium maps and or the sanctum i could see myself actually attempting the delirium maps but the, the sanctum i just don't even want to additional essences i can warp okay that's not efficient actually i can just path this for less points. Same here. Go fishing for a big essences next time. Maybe delve. I don't know. There's still a lot of stuff to do. Uh, legions is going to have to happen. That's going to take a big investment as well. Though I don't need the extra monsters from eater in my maps anymore i can grab those if i had all these stygian visors like this at the beginning really i could sell them for like 20 chaos a piece if i was in trade i've done that on a league start before arm stygian visors get those high item level ones and if i was trying to sell them i wouldn't want the 85 ones i would have had to grab this inspired darkness node so they'd be 86 but i think that was passive tree set up speed farm essences smugglers caches do some rituals complete some more challenges but i think that's gonna do it for this one i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icons just below the video, or by joining to become a member, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.